Hello and welcome to the Cisco training video on the Software Advisor. This tool can be used to find software versions that are compatible with your specific hardware. You can reach this tool by logging into cisco.com and clicking support at the top of the page. Then click browse all tools to see the whole list. Select Software Advisor. To begin, click the link that says Find Software Compatible with My Hardware. The other options listed here have been superseded by the Feature Navigator tool. For more information on using these additional options, please watch the separate training video on the Feature Navigator tool. You will be presented with three different options. If you have used this tool before and performed previous hardware searches that you have saved, you can use the second option to quickly search using the same hardware again. If you have not previously done this, this option will not be applicable and you will need to use either the first or the third option. We'll use the first option to begin with, which allows you to enter your hardware manually. Click Next to continue. Select the category that your hardware falls under, then select the specific hardware family. Lastly, select the specific hardware model and click next to continue. You can then select all the individual hardware parts that you are using by ticking the related tick box on the left hand side. At a minimum, you need to select at least one part and the power supply that you are using. When you have selected all of your parts, click Next at the bottom of the page. On the next page, select the license you are using and the life cycle type. MD stands for Maintenance Deployment and is a train of software that provides bug fixes in its updates. ED stands for Early Deployment and is a train of software that provides new feature, platform or interface support. Note that this may be at the cost of stability, as when new things are added, there is a chance it can also introduce new software bugs. LD stands for Limited Deployment and is for software that is very new and not yet widely used. If you are not sure which lifecycle you want, you can leave this set to Show All. Click Next to continue. You then get a list of all the software versions that are supported by your hardware. It also shows you other useful information, such as the minimum amount of RAM and flash required and the download links for the software. Now we will explore the third option from the home page. If you know the exact Cisco part ID of the hardware that you want to query, then you can select this option and enter this here. Note that you can only enter one part, so while the results will be compatible with this part, some of them may not be compatible with other hardware that you are using on the same device. For this reason, it is recommended that you use the first option that was previously shown in this video. There may be more than one device that is compatible with the part you have entered. So on this page, you need to specify the exact device that you are using. Then enter the license that you have for that device. As before, you then get the result showing the software that is compatible and the minimum hardware requirements. Thank you for watching this training video.